to a lot of people, I think, started thinking about, okay, well, these seeds are, are not a resource I can take for granted. And how do I learn to save my own? And if I'm going to save my own, now I, I want to think about which seeds I'm saving, because now I have that choice. I, I get to make the decision about which seeds to save. And so I had a lot of people just, you know, coming to me, you know, wanting to grow seeds for the first time. Some of them wanting to start gardens for the first time and wanting to have seed saving be a part of that growing practice. Um, or organizations that had focused on growing for a long time, wanting to shift towards learning how to save seeds. And so for me, the sharing of seeds is, um, is part of it, but the, the sharing of knowledge around seeds um, is, is, is equally as important, the sharing of knowledge and the sharing of those stories, um, because those, a lot of the seeds that we grow that, that are really important to preserve, um, once we share them, you know, if you if we if I share with you these seeds and you don't know how to save them yourself, you're going to have to find me again somehow next year. Right. Or you're going to have to, you know, have the, you know, be reliant on some other company to keep that very special pepper alive for you. And I think there's been a paradigm shift where people realize that we can't necessarily rely on those systems. And so a lot of the work that I've been doing this past year has been the sharing of knowledge of how people can get involved. And then after I have, uh, you know, shared and, and, and we're, we understand as a community how to save these seeds, now I can share with you these really priceless seeds that I only have like 10 of. Um, and we, and I, and I can, and I feel secure that they, that they will remain alive. I would add a few thoughts. Um, you know, this year we are celebrating at what's called the Good Foods Co-op that I helped found 50 years ago, Natural Foods Cooperative, emphasizing local food, organic food, and healthy food. Uh, we have always had, as part of our food cooperative, <laughs> the availability of seeds. And I was in the co-op just a couple of days ago. I saw we had our big spring rack of seeds, mostly from the Seeds of Change, uh, but, um, I've been involved in a lot of community gardening work for, uh, oh, probably 40, at least some odd years. And about 10 years ago, we were, or maybe 12 years ago, we were able to get the county libraries to think about, you all are providing some great books about gardening and great films. Uh, but what about providing some seeds in those big, uh, wooded card catalogs? They're not being used anymore. <laughs> so now when you go into the libraries, uh, they have these card catalogs full of drawers of free seeds to give to the community. So I think those are some of the examples of, of this wonderfully increased consciousness of, of health, environmental health, human health, and so forth, as well as uh, folks, part of the pathway to health is to grow food. Uh, and uh, on our farm, uh, just a couple of years ago, we put 12 acres of our land under what's called a pollinator conservation project, because we have to remember, and we all remember, preaching to the choir here, that without insects and pollinators, okay, <laughs> ain't going to be no seeds, okay? So we have to provide, you know, a uh, community with this very holistic integrated systems approach to health on the earth, okay? Uh, and, and then have people then work on many different levels to, uh, to, to uh, again, just to help this beautiful space 